scanning for audio. Welcome once again to a Tin Dog Podcast. This time I'll be talking about the brand new release from Big Finish, Fourth Doctor Adventures Series 6, I know, Series 6, Number 2, The Eternal Battle, written by Kevin Scott and Mark Wright. Now if my plans actually work out, I'll be interviewing Mark Wright in the quite near future. And you know how I like to do an interview or something special to mark certain anniversaries well it's going to be my 650th show and on top of that is also going to be well a 10th year anniversary of the tin dog podcast have you been with me that long it is possible as there will be a 10th anniversary special tin dog podcast as well i'd like to ask you a question is there anything you'd like to ask me yes i know you listen to radio free scarrow and they do fluid links well let's do something similar Either email me, tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk or use the hashtag AskTinDog, all one word, on Twitter and I promise you I will read them and then I will answer each and every single one of them in my 10th anniversary special. 10 years of the Tin Dog podcast. Who would have thunk it? But that's not what we're here to talk about today, is it? Oh no... We're here to talk about something much better, much more important. We're here to talk about some more Mad Uncle Tom. Not only is it Mad Uncle Tom, but it's Mad Uncle Tom, Lala Ward, John Leeson is canine, Dan Starkey. Well, once Dan Starkey's name comes up, you know there's going to be a load of Suntarans. Almost always. As well as, of course, Jane Slavin and John Banks. That's the full cast. So... From what we know so far, is it's a fourth Doctor story with the second Romana and some Santarans. Let's just look at the synopsis, shall we? The TARDIS has landed in a war zone. The Doctor and Romana and K-9 find themselves traipsing through an inhospitable battlefield. Strange lights flicker in the sky, and stranger creatures lurk in the darkness. When rescued from an attack by a Santaran tank... The time travellers discover they are facing far more dangerous foe than battle-hungry clones. This terrifying fight has been going on for longer than anyone can remember and shows no signs of stopping. With the TARDIS missing and our luck running thin, the Doctor and his friends' only hope of survival is to uncover the truth about what is happening on the planet. If they can discover the secret of the eternal battle, they might just might survive. But it might just mean the end of all of them. As always, this is a one-disc release, and it also doesn't spread out over the other releases. It's a one-shot story. Now we're used to the Santarans giving us, well, a short tale. Tom has, of course, met the Santarans early on. And all that's absolutely lovely. Now, normally when you've got a Tom and Lala story, that's a fourth Doctor and Romana 2 story... In reality, they've been recorded separately. So in order to make that work, usually you split up the narrative quite early on. You've got the Doctor in one location and Romana in another. It's that whole reality versus storyline thing. But here there's quite a lot of scenes with them together. And you know what? If I didn't know they were recorded separately, I'd swear they weren't recorded separately at all. Are they secretly meeting up and having a quick recording session together? Or are the people at Big Finish just damn fantastic at mixing everything together? I can't tell that they're not in the same room at all. This is brilliant. This is the future. This is a bit scary. Just proof that perfect sound design can trick you into almost anything. So, is it any good? Of course it's good. It's actually a storming story. I mean, let's face it, what's not to love about zombie Santarans, except for the fact that I'm terrified of zombies? Any other monster I can handle. 
because what you do is you learn the rules. It's a Santaran, probic vent. It's a Dalek, aim for the eye stalk. Zombies, you can't reason with them, you can't talk to them, you can't do anything, and their, their only way of killing them is just to kill them outright. I just don't like them. Never have. But here, they just work. Yes, there are shadows of stories that you might have come across in Doctor Who lore, but that's not going to distract you. That's not going to make you go, oh yeah, that's a bit like... Because let's face it, if we did that for every Doctor Who story, well, you know what? We'd be here all day. You don't need to be here all day, do you? Of course not. It's a great story. It's got some fantastic acting, and there's a bit of the extras at the end where you get to find out from, well, Mr. Starkey about all the different approaches to doing a Santaran voice. It talks about all of the different methods there are to recording, well, different Santarans. Yes, they're all a bit posh, but once he mentions that what you do is a bit of an impression of the royal family, you'll never hear Strax without hearing Prince Philip. Well, not again, anyway. There are some great characterizations going on here. And, as always, you take a villain that you already know with Big Finish, give it a bit of a twist and a bit of a reintroduction. So if you like Santorans, this is for you. And if you love the Fourth Doctor, again, this is for you. Now, Big Finish have been dancing around the houses and saying things like, this is going to be an end to the main range releases. They'll always continue, but they're kind of... This is the latest Fifth Doctor, this is the latest Sixth Doctor story, and I can totally see their arguments. However, if the main range does go, I'll miss it. It's going to make reviewing even more complicated. Well, not really. I do kind of try and review everything. So, with that, I'll fade away. So remember, hashtag AskTinDog, and ask me anything. Or, of course, email me. All in time for March the 4th when I'll do the recording. Be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Doctor Who, The Fourth Doctor Adventures, The Eternal Battle. We face our bleakest hour. The odds of victory dwindle by the day. But we are resolute in the face of an abhorrent enemy. An enemy that gives no quarter. Will we diminish? No, No, sir. Will we yield? No, sir. Stay alert. The enemy could attack at any second. Doctor, I can't see any lakes. Kizzy, can't be more than a mile or so. Uh... What's that in the sky? Blue light. Master, life forms approaching in great numbers from a westerly direction. <laughs> Doctor. The Doctor. Well, it's always nice to be recognised, but... Silence! For crimes against the Sontaran race, all Sontaran battalions have standing orders to execute you and your associates on sight. Sontaran fighting against Sontaran? You are waging war on war. How long have you been fighting this war? Years. Decades. It is hard to remember. You can't remember. Santarans are never scared. We never diminish, never surrender. Big finish. We love stories. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast. Available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. <laughs>